Oh. oh, I didn't see you there, Chad. We're just preparing for the 2012 Summer Olympics in Aspen, Colorado. Right? Oh, okay, well, uh, do you want to see us, uh, how we train? Three. Hey guys, hey. Uh, we're going to show you our original designs for hey. this and, <laughs> and what we ended up actually doing. Uh, so these are the first designs we had, which we were originally just going to use like um, some sort of like wheel to fire the ball. And uh, well we realized that, that that didn't really work out so well. So then we upgraded to Blue some sort of blow drying mechanism but that didn't have enough power to shoot the ball very far and we were going to use connects which too fragile so that didn't work either and then we upgraded to a shop vac which works pretty fine um, but still didn't have it didn't meet the requirements we were looking for and cardboard didn't work out too well either so we finally hello <laughs> We worked our way up to this, which is our final design. Oh, hey, Chad. How's it going? Which we ended up using a leaf blower and two inch PVC pipe to give us enough power to shoot a ping pong ball uh, pretty dang fast. So we're going to follow this up. And it shoots up there, follows this tube, some soft bends right here, and then out into the barrel, which will then launch the ball across the table. And when you hit the ball back, it returns into this gutter, which then reloads and fires again. But that's not all. We also have different size barrels for different speeds for like experts and amateurs and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Really awesome. Just give a view. Then give a second. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to go in more detail with the actual loading mechanism, which took some time to design. We actually use um, uh, air pressure to load the ball, if you can get a shot, into the hopper, so, uh, as to speak. When we have um, 
a plastic. Here, put this down. We actually have a plastic, uh, a plastic piece that blocks this. It restricts the airflow from returning back up in here. So all the air is forced up through here, which which causes less air pressure in this tube itself. So it'll suck the ball in here, giving enough speed to launch up these tubes and out the barrel again.